Amberlynn did have a very bad attitude just in general. Um, just with anything, like if she wasn't kind of getting her way, if it just wasn't going the way she wanted to do it. Like this was as long as I've known her, not just when we were together and even after. So this is also around the time uh, our boss got a letter from a subscriber about us vlog or about us, but about Amberlynn vlogging at work. Um, she really did laugh. She thought it was hilarious. She didn't know that we had been doing YouTube or that Amberlynn had been doing it. Um, and it, it cracked her up. She just said people, sometimes people have nothing better to do with their life and probably just wanted to see the reaction out of it. So this is also around the time that some subscribers started getting kind of creepy, you know, started trying to figure out like exactly where we lived, stuff like that. Um, she started t talking about her mukbangs. I don't know how, if I'm saying that word right. I don't know. It's said so many different ways. So, um, I guess we read you guys the email from the subscriber that was sent to our boss. Let's see. Amberlynn had talked about her younger brother, about when she saved him, when he was getting choked. That really did happen. I don't know if there was like a conspiracy on that, but that did happen. Amberlynn really did go to college when she lived in Arizona. I'm not going to get too much into detail with it, but um, she did have student loans. When she started working with me about two or three months after she started working, they started to garnish her wages for it. So she ended up calling them and setting up a payment plan with them. I think this is what Amberlynn had talked about. I think someone asked her about who she would want to propose, like if she wanted to, or if I wanted to, and she was saying, hopefully I don't want to. I never proposed to her because we literally fought so much and I wasn't sure if we would ever truly be happy together. Like, cause there was just so much fighting and tension, obviously off camera. Um, we'd have good times, but the bad times were starting to outweigh the good times. <laughs> I said, I swear we went to Walmart more, or we spent more time at Walmart than we spent at home. This is also when she started making her soup chili Everything in a pot, goulash stuff. I did not ever really try these. They were, that was gross. Amberlynn talked about being nervous about living with my mom because she liked living on her own, didn't want to be under someone else's rules, wanted to do what she wanted to do. That comes to a head at one point. And then another thing with being at my mom's, my mom had a, it wasn't a clawfoot bathtub, but she had, it wasn't like a normal bathtub. I don't know how it's explained. You see it in the videos a lot. Um, Amberlynn did not shower the whole time we were at my mom's. She did not like the bathtub. She refused to even try to get it. I think she, she was having a hard time getting her leg over it. It was the thing because it, it was pretty high sides. And she just basically, you know, whore bathed. <laughs> she just, you know, she washed her hair. I, like I'd help her wash her hair over the shower. Um, and she just kind of washed with washcloths and wore plenty of deodorant. That's that's what she did. Um, this is also around the time my mom and Amberlynn start getting into a lot of spats about stuff. Um, they just, they started arguing quite a bit. Amberlynn's just, she's very set in her way or no way kind of deal. Um, I don't know, that's just, she, and she doesn't care, like if she disrespects you basically, like she really just does not care to have respect. Like we were at my mom's house living with her and she still was, you know, like, I don't know if it had been the other way around, I was not gonna try to argue with her mom, you know, like it was like a respecting your elders kind of thing. Even though you're not a child, you should still respect your elders. Uh, and my mom was also very stubborn and very argumentative as well. So it just, it was a lot. When she started doing the mukbangs, when my mom was around, my mom really just didn't understand it. And I think they got into spats about it sometimes. So I think that's why she ended up only doing it basically when she was home alone or if it was just me and her or whatever. She says at some point that we were gonna take the cats to the vet and that we had taken Wasabi to the vet. We, I never took these cats to the vet. Wasabi came with his shots and with Jax, I think once he was with me and Dana, I, got, I went to the feed store and got his shots and just did them myself. Cause you could do that. <laughs> um, you can still do that, I'm pretty sure you can get your shots at tractor supply if you need to um we did end up taking them to the vet it was after me and her broke up because i remember me and dana were together when we did it so the whole time we were together we did not go to the vet <laughs> i know she said that we did and i didn't realize she was telling people that so you guys kept saying that she had diabetic sores i don't know they were mosquito bites i have scars all over my legs from mosquito bites um amberlynn didn't want to get a real job she only wanted to do youtube um I don't know, we just kind of went back and forth on it a lot, but then she really ended up liking the job that we were going to have, so she ended up taking it, obviously. You also see her vlogging in the car a lot without me being in there. It's because we went, we would go to, it didn't matter if it was Walmart, whatever store we were at. If when we were done shopping and decided we were deciding to leave, it was me at the checkout with everything and her going to the car and sitting and waiting. That's just how it was. Um, so that is January to June. Um, and then I also noticed that she showed my butt crack a lot. Um, I don't know why it is, but I have a long butt crack. I try to keep it maintained, but sometimes it's out and I try my best to keep it covered up, but you know, it happens, but she didn't have no reason to be posting my butt crack on YouTube. Um, as far as I know, because Amberlynn, I guess, starts talking about her childhood a lot right here. As far as I know, 
I don't know if she lied about anything that happened in her childhood. I don't know why she would lie about that kind of stuff. But, I mean, you don't know. And then I feel like that's a lot of her problems. You know, like, my mom tells her this at one point. She's like, you focus too much on the past. You blame the past for everything that's happening to you now. And you're not moving on from it. And I feel like that's still a big part of what's going on with her now. Like, she's still focused on what all has happened in the past. And she's not moving forward. And, I mean, hopefully she stops moving forward. We were starting to get really excited about our job. It was contracted with the government. It started at like, I think 15, 25 or something like that, an hour. And it was really just data entry, but it was for the VA. Um, we literally just were on a computer all day naming documents for the VA. And it was a really nice job. I mean, it was freaking easy, but everyone that worked there for long enough, they worked you to death was what it was. And as easy as the job was, you were just working constantly day in and day out. And I feel like that's why so many people ended up getting fired from there or quitting. Um, it is what it is. I was there for almost two years um or yeah like a year and a half talking about walmart again i swear she was just addicted to walmart i don't understand what it is i don't think that she goes to walmart like that anymore i feel like when she moved to lexington i feel like she was just ready to go anywhere i think mostly target but oh i just can't stand to go to walmart half the time now um i would rather like i've said before in a video just get my groceries delivered or i go to the walmart neighborhood market when i need groceries like i try not to go in walmart very often it's just a lot of work and a lot of people and overwhelming um we had gone to goodwill and i had got some random stuff i got a k-cup holder that spun around um <laughs> just remember the k-cup holder because that'll come back in a couple weeks from this point and then this is where it kind of goes blank for a little while like in the videos like she she states that it's because she changes as a person. And this is also when we're saying that we're moving out. Like, it's like, we're starting work and then boom, the next video is like, we're moving out, we're still here, you know, this, that, and the other. Um, got, we got very behind on vlogs. And like I said, she deleted the ones that she had filmed around this time. I don't know why she did that. I don't know what it was. But a lot of, this is when a lot of drama happened between her and my mom. Now, when I said that they were got into spats a lot before, I'm meaning like, it could have been just anything. It was just little stuff a lot of the time. Or, you know, I don't know. It was just random stuff. I can't really pinpoint a lot of what it was, but it would be something small. And between my mom being argumentative and Amber Lynn being argumentative, it would become a thing. But um, I want to say like a week or two into training at our job. So we weren't like working our actual hours that we'd be working. I think we were working like 3 to 11. Um, I think it's like the second week, honestly. We were sitting at the kitchen table, getting ready to leave for work, like packing my lunch, whatever, just sitting at the kitchen table talking. And I think I asked Amber Lynn how she likes the job so far and how, you know, easy it is and all that. And she starts saying that she likes it, that it is easy, but she wanted to focus more on YouTube. And she was like, by the time training's over, I decide I don't want to do it. I just won't start the actual job. And I don't know what came over my mom after this, but my mom came in there and started just saying, you know, like she said something along the lines of, you don't need to stay at home all day and YouTube, it's not going to be good for you trying to lose weight. And I guess Amberlynn got offended about, you know, weight loss and all that. It's a never ending thing with her on that. And... Amberlynn started saying that she likes the job, but she likes, um, she likes YouTube better. And then she was debating on stopping and I don't know, her and my mom started arguing back and forth and my mom ended up getting physical with Amberlynn. Um, that's where the cake cup holder comes back. Um, I think they're kind of slapping around at each other and my mom, that cake cup holder was sitting on the stairs for us to take upstairs or whatever. My mom came back with it and hit her over the head with it. It was, it was very traumatizing for me, honestly, it was. I was freaking out. Um, it was really rough for me. We ended up not going to training that day, which was, ugh, it was awful. I don't, you know, like that was the first time I ever had a panic attack. And after that, that's when I started like kind of experiencing anxiety. Before that, I had some anxiety here and there. And I don't really get triggered when like, I don't know, there was fights going on around me, like physical fights. So it was never like people arguing, like that kind of got my anxiety going a little bit. But that was the only time I'd ever had anxiety is when people were physically fighting, like at school and stuff. If someone got a physical fight, I don't know. I just, I had to walk away or I was going to start freaking out. Um, uh, I had, like I said, my first panic attack, a PTSD flashback. I'm not going to get into my PTSD about all that right now because um, that would take too long and I'll save it for another time. I promise I'll explain that to y'all. Um, but that, like I said, first anxiety attack and it just, it was scary. I, I just remember seeing everything happen and then being on the floor and just screaming and then I kind of black out. But they said, I wouldn't let either of them get near me. I was like under the kitchen table just screaming and I wasn't letting anyone touch me. I don't know. And when I kind of came to, I was so tired and like I said, we just, we couldn't go to work that day. Um, so that's when we decided to get an apartment just for the sake of everyone being under the same roof. Um, we get out of training and we start working five to three 30 in the morning. Oh my God. That was awful. 5 PM to three 30 AM. That was awful. And really also started having a lot of anxiety at this point too. I mean, it is what it is. And then right when we moved into our apartment, um, 
that was when all the drama with her ex and the situation that they had started and i know that she quit filming for a little while there too and i don't know i don't want to get into all that i don't know you know like i just know what she has told everybody else so i mean i don't know and the person her ex um the evidence video that they posted i didn't know that she was messaging them um plain and simple i did not know that till she posted that video so i don't know um amberlynn started to become really popular at work like she just was everyone talked to her like we would all spend way too much time in the bathroom talking because we, you can't talk sitting in the rooms where we were working and a lot of times we would just goof off in the bathroom everyone would be talking in there and amberlynn just started to get really popular then we get into October, Amberlynn starts talking about buying me a new car. Um, I liked my car at the time. I didn't really see a reason to get a new one, but we had talked about it because, you know, it was a little car. It would have been nice to have a bigger car. And a lot of the issues, this is going to sound really bad, a lot of the issues I had with the car was driving Amberlynn everywhere. She was bigger. That car was so small and just, I don't know, when my stepdad looked over my car, you know, he said one of the, sh the shock on the side that she sat on was so worn down and I needed a new one and the one on my side was fine. So he said, clearly it's the weight shifting in the car and I had to get new tires, which the tires weren't her fault. I needed new tires anyway. Like all four of them were, were done. So I got new tires, got the shock fixed and there was a crack in my radiator. I literally went to AutoZone, my, it was a 2000 Honda Civic. Went to AutoZone, got a new radiator for like 50 bucks and my stepdad put it in for me. Also around this time, we actually, like I said, she becomes popular at work. We go to the truck stop to eat after work and it's a bunch of people, but Dana is one of those people because that's when we became friends was around this time, like just friends, nothing more. Um, we were doing, what was it? I think it was something where you wear headphones and you say something, you try to get the person to say what you're saying, something like that. I don't remember. It was something about, I think lips are red. Some, I don't remember what it was exactly, but I say that to Dana and Everlyn gets, she gets offended. She, I mean, she goes off right there in front of everybody, does not care. And it was really embarrassing. And I was like, why are you doing this right now? You know, like I was not trying, why would I try to be that way in front of you? Why would I try to be that way at all? Like I wasn't meaning anything by it. I just had Googled some of the stuff to say. And I was saying on the list, I wasn't specifically saying something to her and it's a big thing. And it was that, so. Um, the 20 piece McNugget thing. She came back in a video and said that she had not eaten. Or I came back and said she didn't eat a 20 piece nugget. She had me say that. She did eat a 20 piece nugget. She really did. I don't know why she had me say that. Um. This is also around the time she starts to talk about wanting to quit the job because she wants to pursue more YouTube. And they were also like, we started out in this one building for work and they were building us a new building, like redoing the inside of one for us to be at and it was bigger and nicer. And it was getting close to being time to move to the new building. And I don't know, she was really nervous about the new building for some reason. And I was really tired of her complaining about everything with the job and she was trying to call out a lot. Um, and then this is also around the time things start to get really tense for us. Um, I know at this point, I know I said I was secretly talking to my ex. I was not talking to her at this point. Um, I talked to her here and there. I did not talk to her like the whole time we were together. Just when things would get really bad between me and Amberlynn. Um, Amberlynn got super emotional about comments and hate on her YouTube. And I told her not to read it if it was going to bother her or let it get to her. She kept turning the comments off on her videos. And I said, I know it's better said than done to not read it and not let it get to you. But if you wanted this to be your career, you need to find a way to get over it, basically. I didn't become good friends with Dana, like actually like texting or talking to her till November. And I want to say like we would text a couple times here and there. And then she kind of just quit talking to me, quit responding to me. But I know towards the end of November, she showed me a laundromat and I went there with her and her mom and her best friend just to see what that laundromat was like. But it was like right after that is when we quit talking, really. She like ignored me till me and Evelyn broke up, literally, which I wasn't like blowing her phone up or anything. But I just thought it was weird that she just quit having contact with me when she did have a boyfriend. So maybe that was it. I don't know. We had gotten to a big fight at some point and I don't know what we were arguing about, but then I think either my mom or my mammy called me about going over there. Cause my mammy was going to my mom's and she was like, Hey, we're going to cook. You guys should come over. And I was like, heck yeah. You know, like I was ready to go. I hadn't seen my mom in a little while. I was ready to go over there and eat some good dinner and what have you. Well, Amberlynn didn't want to go. And I said, that's fine. You don't have to go. Cause I mean, like I said, all that drama from before with her and my mom, they were just tense. Um, but she didn't want me to go. And I was like, okay, well, it's been a little while since I've been over there. Just you know, I'm going to go over there. And she was just like throwing a big, just fit. I don't know how else to describe it. She was crying. And I had, I know it was a code red Mountain Dew in my hand. She will swear to you that this didn't happen. I've talked to her about it before. And she swears it didn't happen. So I don't know why she thinks that, but why would I make this up? Um, I would try to walk out of the house and I know I had this code red Mountain Dew in my hand and I'm just like, I'm going to go. I'm just going to go. So, and cause we were already arguing. I was like, I don't want to be around you anyway right now. Like we're arguing. I wanted to go see my mom. Um, 
she starts screaming at me from the sliding glass door doorway saying that she's gonna harm herself um if i leave and i don't know just all this stuff you know just going nuts and then i was like no you won't you know i said that's not something to play around with just let me go see my mom and she starts like coming at me you know like ooh, ooh, ooh. so i get in my car and i leave the, the, the can on my top of my car and i close the door real quick and i lock the door and she's like telling me to get out all this stuff and she ends up throwing the can at my car made me mad um and i want to say i ended up not going i don't think i did i'm like 98 percent sure i did not go to my mom's i ended up just going back inside and dealing with her um and then i don't know if that's the fight that might have caused it but right after that we also got into an argument and that's when she let me open a present and it turned into opening all those presents you know we're going into december which is good because this video is getting long um things at this point really are starting to get super rocky with us um she starts vlogmas and i gave her her gifts way before christmas um i also started planning her it was she thought it was going to be a friends miss so just like a friends christmas getting together christmas party but really i was planning a surprise party for her and we were arguing so bad about something it was she was trying to say that i was being secretive and that i was keeping stuff from her and all this and we were arguing and i was like fine you want to know what i'm being secretive about i was planning you a surprise birthday party and now you know about it i was gonna do it when we have the friends miss thing and you weren't gonna know and she was like oh my god that's the sweetest thing you know and i was just like well you're not gonna be surprised now and she said don't don't cancel it you know we'll still do it i'll act surprised and she shows the party and what have you mm -hmm.